happy morning students welcome to blue star sai secondary school 9th standard physical science last few classes we have discussed about unit 6 light so loss of light how to the light is reflect lateral inversion that is ida vela motion and the real and virtual image curved mirrors there are many types of curved mirrors that is spherical mirrors the spherical mirror is further divided into two types so that is the concave mirror and the convex mirror so how do the image is formed in this spherical mirror there are four rules are find out that is the ray passing through the center of curvature and the ray parallel to the principal axis the ray traveling through the principal focus angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection so different places the object is Okay, and how to the image is formed in the concave mirror? So there are six places are into a uh, object, and the image is how to formed in the concave mirror. We have discussed and the sign convention for measurement of distances and the mirror equation. This equation is very very important for optics and the linear magnification. So this mirror equation and the linear mag magnification. based on the some problems are given and we have solved out the problems and how to the image is formed in the convex mirror refraction of light the speed of light there are many different type uh, topics are we are discussed so in this class move to the unit a 7 heat okay unit 7 heat so this are the concept map for the Unit. So, as uh, the unit heat is further divided into three topics. Okay. So, transfer of heat, change of state, and the measurement of heat energy. So, this topic is further divided into many topics. Okay. So, transfer of heat. So, it is divided into conduction, convection, and radiation. And the change of state, sublimation, melting, freezing, solidification. And measurement of heat energy. How to measure the heat energy? There are some of the points that is specific heat capacity, thermal capacity, specific latent heat. So these are the concept map for the unit seven heat. So these topics one by one we will discuss at the further classes. So in this class we have discussed about the what is the meaning of the convection, conduction, radiation, etc. Okay. so the first one is transfer of heat so the transfer of heat is divided further divided into three that is conduction convection and radiation so the heat topic is divided into mainly three topics the three topics are further divided into many topics so the first one is transfer of heat so the transfer of heat contains conduction the first one is a that is a conduction conduction so small definition for the conduction the process of a transfer of heat in solids from a region of higher temperature to a region of lower temperature without the actual movement of molecules that is conduction so the process of transfer of heat in solids solids from cases of Higher temperature to places of lower lower temperature without the Action moment of 
molecules so this is the definition for the conduction solids from a that is the process of transfer of heat in solids from a region of higher temperature to region of lower temperature without the actual movement of molecule so at a solid the atoms are present in the very closely that is the molecules are arranged in the closely so one end of the solid is the heater the other end is easily to absorb the heater okay so that means that um, solids region of higher temperature to a region of lower temperature okay so or end la namba heat vacha adu enna another end la heat easy ah vandu absorb panidum edanal na adule enna the molecules la romba enna the romba close ah irukum close ah irukadhana enna agum seekrama heat vandu absorb panidum so this is the conduction so next one is convection so the convection is the flow of heat through the fluid from places of higher temperature to places of lower temperature by movement of the fluid itself so the definition of the convection is flow of heat flow of heat through a fluid from places of higher temperature to places of lower temperature by movement of the fluid itself so this is the definition for the conduction so the flow of heat through a fluid from places of higher temperature to places of lower temperature by movement of the fluid itself so in our daily life we are cooking so the heat anything heat is heated for example water so the water is heated the the water molecules is moving upward direction so that is under the high temperature so this water molecules is move to the lower temperature that is air okay ma'am so namba epovume vandha enna panuvom water molecules illana edho andha romba heat aachuna adha enna fluid form la enna aagudhu mara upward direction la povudhu ena kida vandha enna aagudhu romba hot ah irukku okay ma'am romba heat vandha adhigama irukadha that is high temperature high temperature vandha enna panudhu low temperature ku povudhu by movement of the fluid so nare vittla namba enna panirpom chimney la vechirpom okay ma'am so enna aagum inge namba ஏதாவது தாளிக்கும் போதோ இல்ல ஹீட் பண்ண போதோ அது என்ன ஆகும் அந்த பாக் வந்து போகும் பாக் வந்து என்ன ஆகும் அந்த சின்ன வந்து அப்சர்வ் பண்ணி போட்டோம் சோ ஹை டெம்பரேச்சர்ல இருந்து என்னது லோ டெம்பரேச்சருக்கு போகுது ஓகே திஸ் இஸ் தி கன்வெக்ஷன்ஸ் சோ கன்வெக்ஷன் இஸ் தி சாலிட் அண்ட் கன்வெக்ஷன் இஸ் தி மூமென்ட் ஆஃப் தி ஃப்ளூயிட் ஓகேவா தி நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் ரேடியேஷன் சோ ரேடியேஷன் this means that the small definition means flow of heat so of heat from one place to another another place by means of the electro magnetic waves okay so for example 
sun rays so these are the form in the radiation okay so these are the radiation okay so the black color or white color is absorbed heat okay so most of the people are avoid black because it is the heat the more absorb the more heat நம்ம ஹேர் கூட என்னது பிளாக் பிளாக் ஓகேவா ஸோ என்ன ஆகும் நம்ம கொஞ்ச நாள் வெயில போனாலே நமக்கு ஹெட் வந்து ரொம்ப ஹீட் ஆயிடும் அது அதுக்கு என்ன ரீசன் அதுக்கு நம்ம ஹேர் வந்து பிளாக் பிளாக்ல இருக்கிறதுனால அந்த மாதிரி ஆகுது ஓகேவா ஏன்னா பிளாக் வந்து என்ன பண்ணுவோம் ரொம்ப நம்மளுக்கு ஹீட்டை வந்து அப்சார்வ் பண்ணும் ஸோ ரேடியேஷன் மீன்ஸ் தட் இல்ல ஒரு மாலிகூல்ஸ் பார்ட்டிகல்ஸ் அது மூலியமா வந்து என்ன ஆகாது ஹீட் வந்து டிரான்ஸ்பர் ஆகுது கிடையாது ஒரு ரேடியேஷன் மூலியமா தட் இஸ் எலக்ட்ரோ மேக்னெட்டிக் வேவ்ஸ் அதாவது வேவ்ஸ் மூலியமா இப்ப நீங்க சன்லைட் பாத்தீங்கன்னா எப்படி இருக்கும் உங்களுக்கு ஒரு வேவ்ஸ் மாதிரி இருக்கும் ஓகேவா ஸோ அந்த மாதிரி இருக்கிறது நம்ம என்னன்னு சொல்றோம்னா ரேடியேஷன் ஓகேவா ஸோ திஸ் த்ரீ டாபிக்ஸ் கண்டென்ட் டிரான்ஸ்பர் ஆஃப் ஹீட் ஸோ the heat topic is contains three mainly topic transfer of heat change of state and measurement of heat energy so the transfer of heat is further divided into three that is conduction convection radiation so conduction means that solids from a region of higher temperature to region of lower temperature without the actual moment of molecules next one is convection flow of heat through a fluid from places of higher temperature to places of lower temperature by moment of the free itself radiation flow of heat from one place to another place by means of electromagnetic waves so i hope that all of you write you know observation or the concept map and these are the definitions okay so these are the very very important this is the small questions okay two marks or four months we are expected so book back questions define conduction define convection define radiations okay in the mala kepanga adha enna pandringa you all to me observation book la you write panunga so the next one is change of state so the next one is change of state so this is further divided into what is this sublimation melting freezing solidification i already we know that what is mean by sublimation already we are studied about the unit in matter around us sublimation sublimation so this means that the process in which solid is converted so solid is converted into gaseous state without attaining a liquid state for example camphor this is the solid state but we are heated to the camphor camphor it is a converted into gaseous state without attaining a liquid state so this is means that the sublimation so so the next one is what is mean by change of state change of state means that changing the substance to the state to another any liquid solid gas any state so one substance is appearing the physical state any physical state that is a liquid solid gas any state it is converted into other state okay for example um, camphor okay so the camphor is a solid state uh, when when we heat at the camphor this is converted into gaseous state so this is converted into solid to gas so this is the change of state so this process called is sublimation so because the solid is converted into gaseous state that is called sublimation okay so the next one is melting melting which means that the process in which the solid is converted into liquid so the process 
the solid is converted into liquid so this is the melting or fusion there are two names okay melting or fusion melting or fusion so which one substance is the Present in the solid state, that is, it is converted into liquid. That process is called as melting or fusion. So, this also a change of the state. Okay. So, the next one is freezing. Freezing. The process in which the liquid is converted into solid by releasing heat. The process in which the process in which a liquid the liquid is converted into solid. By releasing the heat, this means that is freezing. So we are put into the water into our fridge. So this is converted into solid state. Okay, this process is called as freezing. So the next one is boiling or vaporization. Name a chain up and in a kind of body can even a process of being filled with the wrong boiling or vaporization. So the process in which liquid liquid is converted into. Converted into vapor by absorbing heat. Absorbing heat is called boiling or vaporization. For example, water. When we heat the water, this is converted into vapor. So this process is called boiling or vaporization. So the next one is what is this condensation? Condensation. So this means that the process in which a vapor vapor is Converted into liquid, liquid by releasing the heat is called condensation. Same for the water. Okay, hundred degrees Celsius we are. So the vapor is heated. It is converted into what is this liquid form. So this process is called as condensation. So these are the change of state. Now we are learned about transfer of heat and change of state. So change of state means in a way solid only liquid change and that is the process liquid solid change and that is the process liquid. Vapor on the inner process, a big gas on the inner process, yellow may end up in a cone. And by discuss the next one, we will put the inu number deeper and a puppo puppo. For the classes, the number the park up or on the wrong. See the small small definitions motuna, definitions motuna and paper pattern of course. We will put the deeper number of puppo with examples of the number and next to class like a line deeper park. Already we are learned about the heat topic is. 
divided into three main topics that is what is this transfer of heat change of state and measurement of heat energy so we are we are learned about transfer of heat and change of state so now let us see about measurement of heat energy it is further divided into many subtopics the one of the subtopic is heat capacity what is mean by heat capacity so the amount of heat energy the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of a body by one degree Celsius one degree Celsius this is called heat capacity so the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of a body by one degree Celsius this means the heat capacity we have a body temperature is normally 39 degrees Celsius so number one degree 30 and 40 40 40 so 40 as an increase of the two or heat energy essential so other than the enough so heat capacity so one degree number one day increase another day in a way I'm okay fever I will go so this is called heat capacity so the amount of heat energy essential to raise the temperature of your body that is called heat capacity so the next one is specific heat capacity specific heat capacity so same for the heat capacity the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one kg of a substance by one degree Celsius or one Kelvin. So, same. The amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one kilo gram of the substance by one degree Celsius or one Kelvin so this is the specific heat capacity so same amount of heat is required but one kg substance so one kg substance is on the uh or substance on the one kg other heat from the thing on a big heat on the record tell for the data as a key energy one kelvin or one degree celsius heat on the record of the lamb specific heat capacity other than two kg and the money two kg or two kelvin so on the money heat to record of them and then for the specific heat capacity so so third one is Latent heat. The next one is latent heat. So this means that the amount of heat energy absorbed or released by a substance during a change it means physical state without any change in its temperature. So amount of heat energy heat energy absorbed or released by a substance during 
change in its physical shape without any change in its temperature so already we know that what is the change of uh, state so which one substance uh, there changes to the physical state that is solid to liquid or liquid to solid anything okay so at uh, the during the process uh, it have a heat energy that is uh, it is uh, heat is uh, in a uh, what is this uh, absorbed or released but uh, did not change the temperature that is latent heat okay so ago substance irukana ad enna ad adoda solid state la nde change agudhu inno state ku change agudhu illa physical state la nde inno state ku change agudhu change agumbodhu adukku or amount of energy vandu theva padum okay va essential ah irukum adu release pandradhavu irukalam illa absorb pandradhavu irukalam edhu vena irukalam but adoda temperature vandu eppadi irukkudadhu change ah irukkudadhu okay va அதோட பிசிக்கல் ஸ்டேட் சேஞ்ச் ஆ இருக்கணும் ஓகேவா அதோட எனர்ஜி அப்சார்ட் ஆகா இல்ல ரிலீஸ் ஆகா ஆனா என்னது टेंपरेचर டிட் நாட் சேஞ்ச் தட் இஸ் कॉल्ड லேட்டன்ட் ஹீட் சோ தி நெக்ஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் ஸ்பெசிபிக் லேட்டன்ட் ஹீட் சோ சேம் ஸ்பெசிபிக் லேட்டன்ட் ஹீட் சோ சேம் okay the amount of heat energy absorbed or liberated by unit mass of substance during change of state without causing any change in temperature so same amount of heat energy absorbed or liberated by unit mass of substance during change of state without causing any change in temperature so adanda latent heat means that evlo amount ana substance irukla adodiye enadhu physical state change agum ana temperature na change agudhu same for the specific na specific ah or unit 1 kg substance 2 kg substance indha mari யூனிட் இல்ல ஒன்னே ஒன்னு ஆட் ஆயிருக்கு பாருங்க யூனிட் மாஸ் ஆஃப் சப்ஸ்டன்ஸ் அப்படினு சொல்றோம் ஓகேவா சோ ஒரு குறிப்பிட்ட அளவு 1 kg 2 kg அந்த மாதிரி சப்ஸ்டன்ஸ்ல என்ன ஆகுது அது சேஞ்சஸ் டு ஃபிசிகல் ஸ்டேட் டு எனி अदर ஸ்டேட் பட் வித்தவுட் சேஞ்சிங் தி टेंपरेचर திட் இஸ் மீன்ஸ் தட் இஸ் ஸ்பெசிபிக் லேட்டன் அ ஸ்பெசிபிக் லேட்டன் ஹீட் ஓகே சோ திஸ் ஆர் தி மெஷர்மென்ட் ஆஃப் ஹீட் எனர்ஜி சோ இன் திஸ் கிளாஸ் வி ஆர் லேர்ன்ட் அபௌட் what are the topics included the unit 7 heat so the heat topic is further divided into three main topic that is transfer of heat and change of state and measurement of heat energy so transfer of heat that is this process is doing the three types that is conduction convection and radiation and change of state change of state is many types of that is sublimation melting freezing solidification next measurement of heat energy that is what is this heat capacity specific heat capacity latent heat and specific latent heat okay wow. so these are the topics contained in the unit 7 so one by one we will brief explanation see about the further classes so all of you write your observation on and class work note okay write unit la kra questions ellame enna pandreenga book back questions ellame inga observation work note la search panni write pannunga okay va 
after i will give the answers but all of you write your class of note unit 6 light question and answer okay try your best thank you students